Hello guys, this is Nadeem from Maths TV. Hope you will like this video. Before starting, I just wanted to invite you to be a part of our YouTube family. You can do this by just clicking the red subscribe button. Also press the bell icon so that you get notifications for newly released videos. And do not forget to follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook and Instagram. Without wasting your time, let us start. Today we will be going through Cambridge International P Mathematics, Pure Mathematics 1 P1 9709 October November 2018. Question number 1. Find the coefficient of 1 over x square in the expansion of this expression is provided. We have to um, find the coefficient of x 1 over x square so we can write uh, binomial expansion like for example a, a plus x raised to our n will be equal to n c 0 and a raised to the power n x raised to the power 0 and a is 3x and x is 2 over 2x square in this case so this will be nc1 next will be a raised to the power n minus 1 and x similarly nc2 next term will be nc2 a raised to the power n minus 2 and x squared and similarly we can have the next terms also so i will write the nth term and nth term will be ncn and a raised to the power 0 x raised to our n this will be binomial expansion and we will be requiring uh, basically this raised to the power x raised to our 4 and multiply by 1 over x square raised to the power 3 so we need 4 here and 3 here so that this will be x raised to our 6 and it will be cancelled with x raised per 4 and the net result will be this will be x raised per 4 into 1 over x raised per 6 and after cancellation we will get x raised per 2 so we need 4 and 3 here so it means we need uh, 7c3 so we will get 4 and 3 7 minus 3 will be 4 and this will be 3 so this is how we will be uh, reaching to this term so if we write 7c3 this will be a raised to the power a is in this case 3x so we will write 3x raised to the power 7 minus 3 and x which is in this case 2 over 3x squared raised to the power 3 and this will give us the uh, the coefficient of 1 over x square now we can find 7c3 and 7c3 will be uh, we can write 7 and c3 this will be equal to 35 so we can write here 35 and then 3 raised to power 4 will be 81 and x raised to power 4 and 2 raised to power 3 will be 8 over 3 raised to power 3 will be 27 so 27 and x raised to power 2 into 3 will be 6 so we'll write 6 over here then we'll have to multiply 35 into 35 into 81 into 8 and this will be divided by 27 and this is equal to 27 so our um, uh, answer will be uh, basically we have to multiply this uh, if we multiply basically we have done mistake this is uh, 35 multiply by 81 multiply by 8 will be equal to double 2 so i will copy this one double 2 six eight zero and divided by this 27 and this will be cancelled so it will be 1 over x raised to power 2 
and now we can divide this number by 27 and this will give us 840 so this will be 840 into 1 over x square so this will be the coefficient of x square which is required in this case and so our answer will be 840 hopefully you understood this question now for uh, question number two this is integration question show all necessary working we have to show find integral of 1 to 4 x root plus 2 over x under root dx so we'll find the integral of this so we can the integral of this one will be x raised to, basically we can change it to x raised by 1 by 2 plus this will be 2 over x raised by 1 by 2 and integral and we can put brackets dx integral is 1 to 4 now we can integrate this will be integral of x raised to power 1 by 2 will be x raised by 1 by 2 plus 1 it will be 3 by 2 and divided by 3 by 2 this one and plus integral of this one we will shift as numerator so 2 into x raised by minus 1 by 2 plus 1 it will be 1 by 2 divided by 1 by 2 and integral limits we can take from 1 to 4 and now we have to uh, replace the upper limit first so if we replace the upper limit it will be 4 raised for 3 by 2 over 3 by 2 and my plus this will be 2 into 4 raised for 1 by 2 over 1 by 2 this will be uh, by replacement of upper limit and now we'll replace the lower limit so when we replace lower limit which is 1 it, this will be 1 raised by 3 by 2 so 1 over 3 by 2 and plus 2 into 1 raised by 1 by 2 over 1 by 2 this will be our uh, lower limit replacement then if we calculate this portion this will be 4 raised to the power 4 raised to the power 3 over 2 and this will be equal to 8 so this will be 8 and this will go up so 8 into 2 over 3 and plus this will be 2 into 2 4 and 4 into 2 will be 8 so this will be 8 minus this will be 2 by 3 and this one will be 2 and this will go up so it will be 4 now we can simplify this so we can write this one as 16 by 3 this will be 16 over 3 and plus 8 this will be equal to 40 over 3 40 over 3 and minus this will be 2 by 3 plus 4 so 2 over 3 plus 4 will be equal to 14 over 3 so 14 over 3 and 40 minus 14 will be 40 minus 14 will be equal to 26 over 3 26 over 3 and if we change this can be answer or we can change into decimal also 26 divided by 3 will be 8.67 so this can be answer or 8.67 can be answer. So this is basically the answer which we can write. Now question number three. The diagram shows part of the curve and the curve equation is provided y is equal to x into 9 minus x square and the line y is equal to 5x intersecting at the origin O, this is the origin O where these two uh, curve and the line are intersecting and the point R. So point R is this one where these are intersecting. Uh, point P lies on the Y is equal to 5X. So this point P is on this line which is Y is equal to 5X um, between O and R. So this point is in between o and r and the x coordinate of p is t so we know x coordinate of point p which is t so we can write here t but we don't know the y coordinate which we have to find point q lies on the curve 
this is point Q which is having same uh, coordinate x coordinate as uh, as uh, p so this will be t and y coordinate we don't have for this so pq is parallel to y axis p2 is parallel to y axis that's why we have taken same uh, x coordinate hopefully you got this so till here this information is provided they are saying express the length of pq in terms of t our target is basically to find these two y coordinates and after finding y coordinates we will be just writing expression for the length of pq so for uh, p uh, what we can do we will replace t value in this one and um, we can write y is equal to 5x this is the equation of line so at t at x is equal to t at x is equal to t y will be equal to 5t so our p point will be what p point we can write over here p will be t and 5t this will be the coordinates Co these will be the coordinates of uh, p now we can use the uh, uh, like we can write the coordinates of q as well and for q uh, this is for p we can write here for p and for q for q what we will be doing we will be writing the equation for uh, this curve which is y is equal to x into 9 minus x square so at x is equal to at x is equal to t we can change y will be equal to t into 9 minus t square so this will be basically the y coordinate so x coordinate of this one we found 5t and x, uh, sorry y coordinate of this one we found 5t and y coordinate of this one we found t uh, into 9 minus t square and this will be the coordinates. So we got coordinates of p we got coordinates of q and now we, after getting these two coordinates we can write pq and pq will be equal to under root we will be applying length formula under root of t minus t x2 minus x1 t minus t squared this one and plus y2 minus y1 this is y2 which is t into 9 minus t squared y2 minus y1 which is 5t so we will extend the root up to this one now we'll have to just simplify this this will be zero so we can ignore this portion now this will be uh, 90 90 minus t cube and um, this will be plus uh, basically minus 5t and the root will also be there now we have to uh, simplify basically this square this will be square also because x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square so this will be in brackets and square also and square and root will be cancelled so 90 minus 5t will be 40 40 minus t cube and uh, this will be 40 minus t cube will be the length which is uh, uh, required for part a so we can write this as our answer 40 minus tq now second part is given that uh, that t can vary so t can vary find the maximum value of uh, length of pq we have to find the and at the maximum point we know derivative is equal to zero what we can do we can find the derivative dv d over dt of uh, pq we will find and we will put equal to 0 and derivative will be what derivative of d over dt of this portion right pq so it will be 4t minus t cube and derivative of this will be uh, 4 minus 4 minus this will be 3t square so 3t square and we replace this equal to 0 so we will write d over dt of pq which is equal to 4 minus 3t square is equal to 0. So it means 3t square is equal to, I will move the page a little above over here so that you can see properly. This is what we have done. This was the uh, derivative of pq which we have 
uh, found over here and after finding the derivative we have replaced it equal to 0 now this is uh, what we are solving this equation so 3t square will be equal to 4 and t square will be equal to 4 over 3 so our t value will be 3 over uh, under this will be 2 over under root 3 and this will be plus and minus value so 2 over under root 3 now <coughs> what we can do we can uh, take pq and replace uh, pq is basically 4t minus uh, t cube and if we replace plus value um, we will we will get uh, we can replace plus value which is 2 over under root 3 and minus 2 over under root 3 cube this will be value and uh, if we solve this one so 4 into fraction 2 over root of 3 and close this one minus again this will be fraction 2 over uh, root of 3 and whole will be cube and this will be equal to 16 under root 3 by 9 this will be equal to 16 under root 3 over 9 and this will be our answer uh, because length will be positive so we'll be taking only positive value so this will be our final answer hopefully you understood this question as well now question number four functions f and g are uh, uh, defined by these two expressions they have given ranges also they have provided solve the equation f g of x is equal to 1 so f g of x will be what g of x is this one so we will replace x value by 1 by 2 x so our f of g of x will be equal to in this one we will replace x value cos of x we will replace by 1 by 2x so it will be 1 by 2x and this is provided by the condition of the question is equal to 1. Now what we can do we can shift this 2 to other side so it will be minus 3 cos of 1 by 2x or x by 2 is equal to 1 minus 2 which is equal to um, uh, which is equal to minus 1 so minus will be cancelled on both side so cos x by 2 is equal to 1 over 3 this is what we got now x by 2 will be equal to what cos inverse of 1 by 3 and cos inverse of 1 by 3 if we calculate cos inverse of 1 over 3 and this value is giving us 1.3 this is basically in radian uh, mode yeah in radian mode so because we need radian mode so you will have to uh, check before solving it should be in radian mode so x will be equal to 2 into cos inverse of 1 by 3 cos inverse of 1 by 3 we have already calculated we will multiply this by 2 and we will get 2.46 so x is equal to 2.46 and one so this will be rounded answer hopefully you understood this then they are saying sketch the graph of y is equal to f of x we have to sketch this uh, for second part we have to sketch this uh, y is equal to f of x and f of x is this equation so our y value will be equal to we can write equation over here y value is equal to 2 minus 3 cos x so this is basically our equation and the range is provided from 0 uh, to 2 pi so this is basically the range now what we can do we can draw the coordinate axis for to sketch this curve so our coordinate axis we can draw like this one over here this is our y-axis and we can draw x-axis as well so this is for example our 
uh, x axis. Now after this one we can take like for example over here at one centimeter each we can take marks like over here one two three four and five points we have taken and here also we have taken two points so this will be origin this will be one two three four five this is basically rough sketch so it will not be accurate so just i'm just marking for your understanding even if you're not marking then it's okay so like for example this will be pi by 2 then it will be pi so if i take a little width more so this will be pi by 2 and this one will be pi and then it will be 3 by 2 pi and next will be 2 pi so this is basically pi by 2 and this will be pi and this will be 3 by 2 pi and this will be 2 pi hopefully you are understanding so this is just a sketch which we have drawn for x and y axis now what we will do we have to sketch this the easiest way for this one is this basically is having two options one is you can do uh, you can use uh, standard graph of cos x and then you can do by transformation but uh, I will do by the other easiest way so 2 minus 3 cos of uh, x so I will write here this one and written this equation then I will calculate for x is equal to 0 so calculate for x is equal to 0 this will give us minus 1 so we got for x is equal to 0 we got this point now next point we will check for pi by 2 so calculate for pi by 2 so pi will be this one pi over 2 so for pi by 2 this is 2 so for pi by 2 2 will be this point roughly and for pi also we can check calculate for pi and for this one it is 5 so for uh, uh, for pi it is 5 so we can reach up to this one so this will be 5 and for 3 pi by 2 so we will calculate for uh, uh, 3 and pi divided by 2 so this will give us 2 so roughly over here and then 2 pi will be calculate for 2 pi and 2 pi will be equal to minus 1 so it will come again to minus 1 and minus 1 we are taking over here now we got this curve and we can just sketch this one uh, I'll turn the page and to sketch this so our curve will be bending basically it will be moving like this one and curving from here this is the maximum point and it will be passing through this one and passing through this point as so it will be this is the sketch we can draw it's passing through this and this and we can just erase this duplication hopefully you understand this this is done now this is question number five question number five the first three terms of an arithmetic progression are four x and y respectively the first three terms of the geometric progression are x, y and 18 respectively. It is given that both x and y are positive. Find the values of x and the value of y. So we will uh, do the processing for arithmetic progression first. So for AP, what we can do, we can uh, write these terms for x and y which is provided. And now common difference will be what? common difference common difference will be uh, x minus 4 will be equal to 
y minus x so we'll get this equation so from here we can write y is equal to this will be shifted to this side so 2x minus 4 so we will get this equation from ap now from gp side what we can do we can write these terms which they have provided x y and 18 so our terms will be x y and 18 now we know in case of gp common ratio is different so common is same so common ratio will be what y divided by x will be equal to 18 divided by y now after cross multiplication we will get y square is equal to 18x and this value we can replace this y value in this uh, y square so we will get um, 2x minus 4 square will be equal to 18x this one and now we can form the quadratic equation we'll open this uh, this will be 4x squared plus 16 a square plus b square minus 2 a b so 2 into 2 4 4 into 4 16 so 16 x this will be minus 2 a b which we have done and this will be 18 x now we can shift this 18 x to this side so our final equation will become 4 x square plus this will be 2x and plus 16 is equal to 0. I have arranged this in uh, in form of quadratic equation. Now we can, this will be basically when we shift this to this side, this will be minus 18. So this will be 34. This will be minus 34. Minus 34x plus 16. Now we can use calculator to factorize this and mode 5, 3 and coefficient of x square is 4 and coefficient of x is minus 34 and constant is 16 and the values are 8 and 1 by 2. So x is equal to 8 and x is equal to 1 by 2 and now we can uh, write this one. If we replace like for example in this equation y is equal to 2x minus 4 if we replace 8 we will get 16 minus 4 and this will be equal to 12 and if we replace um, so y will be equal to 12 so our point will be 8 and 12 8 and 12 and if we replace this uh, x is equal to 1 by 2 so our equation will become y is equal to 2 into 1 by 2 will be 1. So 1 minus 4 which is equal to minus 3 and this will be negative. So negative value we will ignore and we can write here ignore, ignore this one. So our answer will be this will be the final answer. Now. Uh, Second part, find the fourth term of each progression. So uh, this one will be for AP, we got uh, the third term as uh, 12. So 4, 8 and this will be 12. There will be difference of 4. So fourth term we can find. So a n we know this formula a n is equal to a plus 3d basically a4. We need o for a4. So a4 is equal to a plus 3d and minus 1 into d. So a4 will be equal to a is 4 first term plus 3 into difference is 4. So 4 plus 12 will be 16. This is in case of arithmetic progression. Now gp will be uh, x y x y and 18 these are the three terms and this is uh, we found this one as uh, 8 8 12 and 18 these are basically the terms r will be equal to 12 over 8 and this will be equal to 3 by 2 so if r is equal to 3 by 2 so we can write a4 in case of gp this will be uh, 18 which is third term into the difference uh, uh, this one uh, common ratio which is 3 by 2 
so this will be 9 9 to 3 will be 27 so a4 will be 27 in case of gp and in case of ap a4 will be equal to 16 hopefully you understood this now question number six the diagram shows a triangle abc in which bc is equal to 20 which is uh, given 20 centimeter and angle abc is equal to 90 a, B, C is 90, this side is nine, uh, 20. The perpendicular from B to C, B to A, C is, uh, meets A, C at D and A, D is equal to 9 centimeter. Angle B, C, B, C, A is theta. By expressing the length of B, D in terms of uh, theta in each of the triangles A, B, D and B, D, C, a b a b d and b d c show that 20 sine square theta is equal to 9 cos theta this is what we have to show in these two triangles so first we can take a triangle in triangle a b d a b d and a b d will be our in this triangle which I have shaded now in this triangle we can take uh, this which is uh, opposite over adjacent and opposite over adjacent is tan theta so we can take tan of theta will be equal to a uh, basically it will be a d over bd basically this one over this one so we'll be taking ad over bd so we can write a d over bd which is equal to 9 over bd and we can write bd is equal to 9 over tan theta this can be uh, our bd value now we can consider the second triangle which is basically BDC. So in triangle BDC and BDC is this one. So here also this will be opposite and this will be hypotenuse. So we can take opposite over hypotenuse which is sine theta. So sine theta will be equal to um, sine theta will be equal to bd over bc bd over bc will be equal to sine theta so bd will be equal to bc is provided which is 20 so 20 sine theta this will be the value of bd in this case where we have taken as uh, theta this will be basically theta so this will be 90 minus theta this angle will be 90 minus theta so it means this angle will be theta that's why we have taken this angle and for this angle ad over bd we have taken as tan theta so this angle we have calculated theta with respect to this one this is theta so in this abc triangle this will be 90 minus theta if this is 90 minus theta so in abd triangle this will be theta so this is how we reach to this angle and we have taken this uh, 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 calculation card accordingly now this is bd this is also bd so these two things will be equalized so 20 sine theta is equal to 9 tan theta now we can uh, write this one as sine theta over cos theta so we'll shift to this side so it will be 20 sine square theta is equal to 9 cos theta so this will be this is basically the thing which we have to prove like this one which we have to show hopefully you understood this one now uh, second part hence showing all the necessary working calculate theta so to calculate theta what we can do we can use the formula which is uh, uh, sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. So we can write here sine square theta 
plus cos square theta is equal to 1 and the second equation which we got uh, in the previous uh, uh, this one part which is over here 20 sin square theta plus 9 cos theta uh, 20 sin square theta is equal to 9 cos theta we will write that equation also 20 sin square theta is equal to 9 cos theta so the, these are the two equations basically which we can solve simultaneously and this equation 20 we can shift to this side so sin square theta is equal to 9 over 20 cos theta so now we can equalize equation 1 and equation 2 we can equalize so it will be cos square theta um, uh, basically this one we will replace this value in this one so what i will do we can just uh, remove this one so this will be 9 by 20 this value i am replacing in this one so plus cos square theta is equal to 1 now we can multiply this whole equation by 20 to get uh, rid of the denominator so it will be 9 cos theta plus 20 cos square theta is equal to 20 and now we can uh, arrange them so this will be 20 cos square theta plus 9 cos theta minus 20 is equal to 0 so this is a quadratic equation in terms of uh, uh, in terms of cos theta so we can put x put cos theta is equal to x so this will become 20 I will move the page so 20 this will be 20 x squared plus 9 x minus 20 is equal to 0 and now we can uh, calculate this basically this coefficient of x square is 20 and coefficient of x is 9 and constant is minus 20 and our answer will be 4 by 5 and minus 5 by 4 so x value will be uh, we got 4 by 5 and minus 5 by Four. minus value we will ignore and we will take this uh, positive value 4 by 5 and we can write cos theta is equal to basically x is equal to 4 by 5 so cos theta is equal to 4 by 5 so theta will be equal to cos inverse of 4 by 5 and we can calculate this one for that we have to change the mode also for radian to degree so shift mode will be uh, degrees will be 3 so inverse cos of uh, 4 over 5 so 4 over 5 this will give us the value which is 36.869 36.869 and we can write approximately equal to 36.9 degrees hopefully you understood this this is our final answer this is our final answer now question number seven uh, diagram is provided the diagram shows a solid cylinder standing on a horizontal circular base uh, with center o so center is this one and radius four units so radius is four units points a b c lie on the circumference so a b and c lie on the circumference of the base such that a b is a is a diameter so a to b is diameter mm, angle b o c angle b o c this angle is uh, 90 degree so i j vector they are at 90 degree so points p q r p q r lie on the upper surface of the cylinder vertically above a b c so above b is q above c is r and above a is p um, respectively the height of the cylinder is 12 units so this height is 12 units the midpoint of c r 
मिड पॉइंट ऑफ सी आर इज ओवर हेयर एम मिड पॉइंट ऑफ सी आर इज एम एंड एन लाइज ऑन बी क्यू एन लाइज ऑन बी क्यू दिस वन विद बी एन बी एन एज फोर यूनिट्स सो आफ्टर दिस वन यूनिट वैक्टर्स आई जे आर पैरल टू ओ बी आई एन जे आर पैरल टू ओ बी एंड ओ सी रिस्पेक्टिवली एंड द यूनिट वैक्टर के इज वर्टिकली अपवर्ड्स इवेल्यूएट पी एन डॉट पी एम सो डॉट प्रोडक्ट ऑफ पी एन एंड पी एम वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट एंड हैंस ऑल्स फाइंड एंगल पी एम एम पी एन सो वॉट वी विल डू वी विल जस्ट जॉइन फर्स्ट पी विद एम सो आई विल जस्ट ड्रॉ दिस वन पी विद एम सो दिस इज एम एंड दिस इज पी वी कैन जॉइन दिस एंड देन वी कैन जॉइन पी विद एन ऑल्सो सो इफ वी जॉइन पी विद एन दिस विल बी आर लाइन एंड दिस वन विल बी फोर फॉर दिस कोआर्डिनेट्स कैन बी दिस इज फोर सो फोर आई एंड फोर जे दिस विल बी फोर आई कोआर्डिनेट्स ऑफ एन विल बी फोर आई फोर जे सिमिलरली फॉर दिस वन बिकॉज दिस इज मिड पॉइंट सो टोटल हाइट इज सिक्सटीन यूनिट्स so up to this one from here will be six units so height of uh, this one radius will be four this will be four j coordinates of this one will be four j because this is along j four j and six k so this will be uh, this one will be i and not j it will be k because it is above this is k direction right so j direction is this one i is this one and this is k so this will be 4i 4k 4i 4k this will be 4j and 6k now for this p it will be 4 minus 4i and 12k so coordinates of this one minus 4i and 12k these are the coordinates which we found now uh, we can write these coordinates which i we have mentioned on the diagram we can uh, write over here which is p p is uh, given minus 4i um, and 12k these are the coordinates of p and n is having coordinates of uh, uh, 4i and uh, 4k so we got n also now we can find pn so pn vector will be equal to uh, this minus this so 4i 4i minus 4i minus minus 4i like this one and plus this one will be uh, 4k 4k minus 12k so this will be the coordinates uh, this will be the equation for pn so if we simplify this will be 4i plus 4i which is 8i so this will be 8i and minus this should be minus because uh, 4k minus 12k will be minus 8k so we can write like this so this is our pn value now <clears throat> now what we can do we can write this is our p and n value this is p n which length which which we have found this is vector basically which we have found now uh, m we know m which we have written the coordinates of m and m coordinates are 4j and 6k so this is in terms of j and k now we can find pm so pm vector similarly we will use p and m p is this one m is this one so first we will use this so 6 uh, 
फोर आई बेसिकली दिस वन पी एम विल बी फोर जे माइनस दिस वन सो इट विल बी फोर जे माइनस इंटू माइनस फोर आई लाइक दिस एंड प्लस सिक्स के सिक्स के and minus 12k minus 12k this one i will write in brackets so it's uh, simply after simplification this will be 4i plus this will be 4i plus plus 4j this one and minus 6k minus 6k so this will be basically pm vector which we have found after finding pm vector we can find the dot product which is pn um, vector and dot pm vector and this will be dot product of this 8i minus 8k and dot product with this one 4i plus 4j minus 6k and Uh, i dot i will be uh, one, so i dot j will be zero, i dot k will be zero. So we'll just take i dot i, which is thirty two. So thirty two plus j dot j. There is no j involved in this, so it will be zero. So we'll write plus zero, and there is no k. Uh, there is k involved in both, so we'll take this k minus eight minus six will uh, will be. Plus forty-eight, so forty-eight k dot k will be one. So adding these two, we will get eighty. This will be eighty. So dot product which we were supposed to find is eighty, which we have uh, found over here. Now the remaining part is basically the angle which we have to find. For that one, we will take uh, cross product of P N and P M. so pn magnitude cross product of pm magnitude is equal to what pn is uh pn is over here which we found this one so if we calculate magnitude of pn and pm basically this is pm so i will right here pm so pn is uh, this one magnitude of this one and magnitude of this one so if we calculate this will be uh, magnitude of this will be 64 uh, 8 square basically 8 square plus 8 square under root and this will be equal to these magnitudes of this one magnitude of this one Into magnitude of sixteen, or we can write four square, or directly we can write sixteen plus sixteen. This should be plus here. So plus sixteen and plus thirty six under root, and magnitude of this. So basically, if we check from here, we have taken eight square plus eight square, and this one also basically this will be minus eight square. So it will change to eight square. So sixty four plus sixty four. This will be resulting to 64 plus 64 under root and magnitude, and this will be resulting to uh, basically we have taken this 16 plus 16 plus 36 from here, which is this four square plus four square, and plus this one six square will be 36. So this is what we got from here. Now we can add 16 plus 16. Will be sixteen plus sixteen plus thirty six will be sixty eight. Uh, so we can write here sixty eight under root. And if we calculate these two, this will be sixty four plus sixty four will be equal to one twenty eight. So root of one twenty eight and multiply by sixty eight root of Sixty-eight, and this will give us sixteen root thirty-four. So sixteen root thirty-four. This is basically the cross product of magnitudes we, which we have calculated, and 
this one is this into when we calculate for example theta so magnitude of this one this is the magnitude so magnitude of these two into cos theta will be equal to the dot product which is 80 so magnitude of this formula is magnitude of these two cos theta is equal to dot product of uh, these two vectors so this is how we have applied this formula and after this one we will have to just calculate the cos inverse so angle of m p n will be equal to cos inverse of 80 over 16 root 34 and we can calculate this cos inverse inverse cos of uh, 80 over 16 root 34 and this will give us value as 30.96 so this will be 30.96 degrees and approximately equal to 31 so we can write 31 this will be 31 degrees this will be our final answer to this question now question number eight question number eight diagram is provided the diagram shows a, an isosceles triangle ACB A C B. This side is 8, this side is also 8. So this angle will be equal to this angle as well. So uh, A B is equal to B C which is equal to 8 and A C is equal to 12 centimeter. So A C this side is 12. The arc X C is a part of the circle with center A and radius 12. So this is part of the circle which is uh, radius 12 so this is 8 and this will be 4 bx will be 4 that's why this is uh, 12 now uh, mm, arc y this one uh, the arc yc is part of a circle with center b so yc will be this arc and center is this one so this side is 8 so this side will also be 8 this is 4 so this will also be 4 this is the information which we got uh, radius 8 so the point a b x a b x and y lie on a straight line so this is a straight line so this is 8 this is 4 this portion is also 4 show that angle c b y c b y is this angle and is equal to this many radians correct to four significant figures we have to show this one uh, correct to four significant figures for for this angle basically we require this angle which is uh, c b and y we require this angle but we don't have information for this side so we will first find this angle and after finding this angle we can just do pi minus this radian so we can calculate this angle so our strategy will be finding this angle first we can apply path uh, this one uh, cosine rule ac measurement we have and we have these two sides so we can find this so cosine rule will be applying so ac squared will be equal to ab squared Mm, plus uh, bc squared minus 2 into a b into a c bc bc and cause of uh, a b c so a b c cause of angle a b c now a c is 12 so 12 squared uh, is equal to 8 squared plus 8 squared minus 2 into 8 into 8 and cause of angle ABC which we have to calculate now we can shift these to this side so it will be 12 square um, minus this will be 64 minus 64 and this will be divided by 2 into 8 into 8 is equal to cause of ABC so this is basically the angle which we have done now we can 
we can uh, write angle ABC is equal to cos inverse of this one which is uh, 144 minus 64 minus 64 and divided by this will be uh, 16 into 8 and we can find this so um, basically first we have to change this one in radian mode so uh, this will be shift mode and radian will be 4 and then we will be using uh, cos inverse of uh, 144 minus 144 minus 64 minus 64 and divided by 16 into 8 and this will be equal to 1.4 four four five so this is equal to one point four four five I will keep the numbers so that we can use these numbers so this is uh, in terms of radian we calculated basically angle uh, C B this is angle A B C which we have calculated now angle uh, ABC is 1.44 basically uh, we missed this minus sign over here so this minus sign will be shifted to this side so it will be minus over here so if we calculate recalculate this uh, value of cause inverse this one so this will be basically inverse cause of uh, this is minus 16 over uh, divided by this will be 16 into 8 this will be equal to 1.696 so 1.696 radians this is basically angle ABC no, but we need angle this one which is angle uh, cbx cby right so cby is required so cby will be equal to pi minus angle abc i'll move the page i think so i'm going out of page so here uh, see this one this is angle which we found uh, 1.696 radians now angle cby will be equal to pi minus this one and which is uh, pi minus 1.696 and this will be equal to if we uh, just write pi this one minus answer will be giving 1.445 so 1.445 this will be our final answer to this part which is part one now in part second find the perimeter of the shape so for the perimeter of the of the shaded region not the shape shaded region so for the perimeter of shaded region this is basically the region region which i'm just uh, making it darker because because of this uh, xerox copy it is a little less shading so this is basically the perimeter which is required cx arc yc arc and xy xy we know is four units we have to calculate c uh, xc and for that one we have this angle and for yc we will be using this angle so we have these two angles basically this angle we can we can uh, subtract because these two angles are equal to each other so from pi we can subtract this angle and divide it by 2 we will get this angle so this is how we can find x x c so we can calculate uh, those uh, angles so we can write x c is equal to basically we will write over here If I calculate angle on the diagram that will be more uh, understandable for you so I'm using again the diagram so we know this angle this angle ABC we calculated which is 
which we have calculated in part 1 1.696 this is angle this one now remaining angle will be pi minus this uh, pi minus this one so we can write pi minus 1.696 and this will be equal to this one and divided by to this angle will be divided equally into these two parts so we'll divide this by two so divided by two will be equal to 0 0.7228 so i will write this angle as 0 0.7228 hopefully you understand how i got this angle now this angle we have and this angle we have already found in part a cby cby is 1.445 so we'll be using this angle and this angle to find these arcs plus this one so first we'll find xc so to find xc we will be multiplying 12 with this angle which is 0 0.728 so i will write here and i'll show you the drawing as well so that you can understand so this will be x xc will be equal to 0 0.728 uh, 7228 multiply by 12 so 12 into 0 0.7228 and this will give us uh, this value multiply by 12 will give us 8.67 so 8.674 so this is basically the rounded value which we found for this one which is uh, uh, xc now similarly we can find yc also and yc will be will be using 1.445 for this one and the radius will be 8 so 8 multiplied by 1.445 and this will give us uh, 8 multiplied by 1.445 and this will give us uh, 11.56 so we can write here 11.56 now for perimeter we have to add these two sides plus this length which is 4 so this length we have calculated xc we have calculated yc plus xy we will add so we can write here perimeter is equal to xc plus yc plus x y so x y also we have to add and this will be equal to x c is 8.674 plus y c is 11.56 plus x y is 4 so we'll be adding these two so perimeter will be equal to 11.65 already written and plus we can write 8.674 plus Four, this will be adding up to 24.2 so 24.2 units will be our answer this will be our answer hopefully you understood this question well now question number nine uh, the function f is defined by this equation for uh, x belongs to set of real numbers r uh, for part one express this one in the form of this basically this is a completing square question so uh, we can just take two common because coefficient we have to remove first so it will be x square minus 6x and plus 7 so now we can write this as this will be x minus coefficient of this one divided by 2 square and minus this one whatever here this one square and plus seven so now we will be just writing this one into x minus three x minus three squared minus this will be three square will be nine nine two will be 18 so 18 plus seven and this will be equal to two into x minus three squared and minus 11 so a value if we compare this one is minus 3 and b value is uh, minus 11 so we can write a is equal to 
minus 3 and b value is equal to minus 11. These are the two values. Uh, so next part b, they are saying state the range of f also. And the range of f is basically this one is the range. So we can write here the range is greater than equal to greater than equal to minus 11 which is mentioned now uh, next part the function g is defined by uh, this value uh, this one g of x is uh, defined for x is less than equal to k state the largest value of k for which g has an inverse so for this part basically what we will be doing we will be checking the value of a in part 1 which we have written as minus 3 so we will take a negative value of a so we, k will be equal to minus that a value which is minus 3 so we will write 3 as our answer so k will be basically it should be less than equal to 3 this should be less than equal to this one we can write here less than equal to and this will be uh, we can directly write this one after this because we cannot write two inequality signs so this will be equal to this this will be our answer for this question part now uh, for a fourth part given that g has an inverse so g has an inverse find an expression for g uh, inverse of x we know y is equal to 2 into x minus 3 square minus 11 this is what we have done in part 1 11 will shift to this side so y minus 11 is equal to 2 into x minus 3 squared so we'll have to basically make x as subject so we are targeting for that so we will shift this 2 also to this side so y uh, this will be minus 11 so this will be plus 11 over here so and divided by 2 will be equal to x minus 3 whole square to get rid of this square we'll be taking root on both sides so we can write here plus minus root of y plus 11 divided by 2 is equal to x minus 3 now minus 3 we can shift to this side so x will be equal to 3 and plus minus root of y plus 11 divided by 2 now uh, what we can do uh, we can swap x and y so y will be equal to um, plus minus basically uh, we'll write plus minus this and x plus 11 over 2 so this will be basically the uh, uh, inverse uh, value which we'll be taking and um, we'll be get we'll be taking the negative value so value which we will be uh, taking will be g inverse of y will be this value g inverse of uh, x will be equal to 3 minus root of x plus 11 divided by 2 this will be our final answer to this question the only thing which i want to add over here is that uh, why we are taking uh, only negative plus value we if we take plus value this will be more than 3 and in the previous uh, part part 3 we have uh, uh, reached that uh, this range is uh, less than equal to 3 so we cannot take positive value hopefully you understood this section also now this is question number 10 question number 10 says the equation of a curve is y is equal to 2x plus 12 over x and the equation of the line is y plus x is equal to k uh, is a constant where k is a constant right so this is the equation and of the curve this is the equation of the line find the set of values of k for which the line does not meet the curve uh, so from here we can check y plus x is equal to k and this implies y is equal to k minus x and this value we can replace in the curve and k 
minus x this is y value is equal to 2x plus 12 over x now we can as, uh, form quadratic equation we will multiply by x so multiply everything by x so k minus x into x is equal to 2x squared and plus 12 now we can shift these two also to the side so 2x squared and plus 12 and this will be minus uh, x into k will be k minus kx and minus uh, it will be plus on this side so plus kx square plus x square is equal to 0 now if we simplify this will be 3x squared 3x squared minus kx and plus 12 is equal to 0 this will be our quadratic equation and now um, we will be checking for the uh, discriminant b square minus 4ac it should be less than 0 b square minus 4ac less than 0 b is minus k so minus k squared minus 4a is 3 and c is 12 is less than 0 so what we can do we can uh, open this bracket so this will be k squared and this will be 12 into 12 will be 144 so minus 144 is less than 0 so k squared will be less than 144 so k will be less than uh, 12 and k is less than uh, greater than minus 12 so th we can mention in in equality like for example k should be greater than minus 12 and less than 12 this will be the uh, values which find the set of these are the set of values of k for which the line does not meet the curve now uh, the b part in the case where k is equal to 15 the curve intersects the line at point a and b so curve is intersecting at these two points we have to find those coordinates k is equal to 15 this is the value which we will be replacing in the quadratic equation which we found just now we have done 3x square minus kx plus 5 plus 12 is greater than is equal to 0 we will take this is the quadratic equation so k will be replaced by 15 so this will be 3x squared minus 15x and plus 12 is equal to 0 we can divide by 3 so x square minus 5x and plus 12 uh, not 12 this will be divided by 3 so it will be 4 so 4 is equal to 0 this will be our uh, quadratic equation so mode 5 3 and if we check x square coefficient is 1 and x coefficient is minus 5 and then constant is 4 this will be 4 and 1 so we can write x minus 4 and x minus 1 is equal to 0 this implies x is equal to 4 and x or x is equal to 1 these are the two values if x is equal to 4 then y we know y is equal to um, 2x plus 2x plus 12 over x so we can replace the values of x this will be 8 plus 12 over 4 so this will be 3 8 plus 3 will be 11 so y value is 11 x value uh, is 4 so coordinates will be 4 and uh, 4 and 11 this will be the one point when x is equal to at x is equal to uh, 4 and at x is equal to uh, 11 again we will replace y is equal to uh, not 11 1 so 2x plus 12 over x so this will be 1 so it will be 2 plus 12 over 1 so this will be 14 so coordinates will be 1 and 14 so these will be the two points one is this one second is this one 4 and 11 and 1 and 14 this will be our answer to this part now uh, third part find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of the line joining a and b so we will check the uh, this one um, uh, gradient of a b line we will be 
we can check that one a b line is basically um, y is equal to y is with gradient is minus 1 basically y is equal to k minus x so we can write y is equal to minus x plus k and k value we found 15 but uh, this is the gradient so gradient of uh, we can write gradient of a b is equal to minus 1 and the gradient of the perpendicular line will be reciprocal and change sign so it will be 1 so gradient will be 1 and midpoint of these two points just now we found and those points are what those points are 1 and 14 and the second point is 4 and 11 so midpoint of these two we have to find so midpoint say this is m so m will be 1 plus 4 divided by 2 and the second will be 14 plus 11 divided by 2 so this m val value will be point we can find this will be 5 by 5 by 2 will be 2.5 and uh, 25 by 2 will be 12.5 so this will be our midpoint this is the gradient and this is the point we have to find the equation and to write this equation we will use y minus y1 equation of line in uh, point slope form so y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 so x value is this one m value is 1 so we'll replace 1 x value will be 2.5 so x1 basically x1 will be 2.5 so minus 2.5 and y1 value will be 12.5 so 12.5 over here and then we can Oh, we can open this this will be x minus 2.5 y minus 12.5 we'll, we can shift this to this side so y is equal to x minus 2.5 plus 12.5 so y is equal to x plus 10 this will be the equation of line which we are supposed to find which we have done this question is done now the last question is question number 11 and diagram is provided curve equation of the curve is given the diagram shows the part of the curve y is equal to 3 root of 4x plus 1 minus 2x and the curve crosses the x-axis at a and stationary point on the curve is m so this is stationary point and obtain expression for dy by dx and integral of y so y is equal to this one i'm copying this equation root of uh, 4x plus 1 and minus 2x now we have to find the derivative dy by dx will be equal to we can write 3 and this will be power 1 by 2 so power will be pulled first so 1 by 2 into 4x plus 1 raised power uh, 1 by 2 minus 1 so it will be minus 1 by 2 and derivative of this one will be minus 2 but we missed basically derivative of this inner side which is 4 so we'll write here 4, 4 as well now this is done now we can cancel this 2 by this 4 so 2 will be multiplied by 3 so we'll get 6 here so 6 uh, over basically under root of 4x plus 1 and this will be minus 2 over here and this will be our uh, derivative which we have found and the second part uh, the same part but second thing which we have to find is integral of this value so integral y dx integral y dx will be equal to um, integral of uh, this one so it will be 4x plus 1 raised to the power 1 by 2 plus 1 will be 3 by 2 and this 3 as it is and divided by 3 by 2 and derivative of this one will be 4 so this is also divided then minus uh, integral of this one will be 2x square and divided by the power which is 2 and uh, next thing we can write here plus c then 
this will be basically simplified. So two twos are four, and this will be three will be cancelled. So only two will be remaining. So we can write four x plus one raised to the power three by two over uh, this will be two. So two we can write here and minus x squared. This will be basically the integral which we were supposed to find. So we are done with this integral as well. Now the second part is find the coordinates of m. m is over here. And this is basically the stationary part. It means derivative of this equation should be equal to 0. So we will take derivative and put equal to 0. So dy over dx, dy over dx should be equal to 0. Equation is what equation derivative basically we just found we will we'll use the same derivative which we found in part 1 6 over 4 x plus 1 minus 2 is equal to 0 so we can shift this to the other side and 6 over under root of 4 x plus 1 is equal to 2 and now we can cross multiply so uh, uh, 2 under root of uh, or we can basically shift 2 to this side so it will be 4x plus 1 is equal to 3 and we can take square so 4x plus 1 is equal to 9 so it means we can shift 1 to other side so 4x is equal to 9 minus 1 which is equal to 8 so x is equal to 8 by 4 which is equal to 2 so x is equal to 2 will be this value now uh, we need the coordinates so we'll change x value and if we replace this x value which is 2 in the equation y is equal to 3 root of 4x plus 1 minus 2x the curve equation if we re replace x is equal to 2 we'll get this 8 plus 1 9 9 will be 3 and 3 will be again 9 so 9 minus 4 which is equal to 5 so y will be equal to 5 so coordinates will be 2 and 5 which we found basically this coordinate and this is y coordinate part 3 find sh uh, showing all necessary work in the area of the shaded region for area of the shaded region this is basically the area and we have these points which is m is 2 and 5 and this point is basically 2 and this height will be this side will be five units this side will be three units this is having zero and three coordinates so what we can do we can integral we can use integral which we have done in part one this integral we can use from from zero to two we can use integral and uh, after calculating that integral we'll be subtracting the area of this trapezium and this area of the trapezium will be area will be equal to 1 by 2 into a plus b 3 plus 5 and 3 plus 5 will be basically 8 3 plus 5 multiply by 2 so this will be 8 multiply by 1 by 2 into 2 so this will be 8 area of this one will be 8 so whatever area we will get basically area under the curve we will get from 0 to 2 integrating from 0 to 2 we will subtract 8 from that one so we'll use this strategy so first of all i will be using this integral and this integral will be with the limit from 0 to 2 so area of uh, area under the curve will be equal to area will be equal to the integral which we will be using will be 1 by 2 into 4x plus 1 raised to power 3 by 2 minus x square and this integral will be from 0 to 2 if we replace the upper limit in this one by the calculator we'll get uh, 13.5 and if we replace uh, lower limit which is uh, lower integral this will be 0 0.5 uh, this will be 13.5 and minus this 4 basically this one in this one if we replace 2 we'll get 13.5 and if this one will be replacing 2 so it will be 4 and this one minus if we replace 0 we'll get 0 0.5 and if we solve this we'll get 9 and from here we have to uh, subtract the area of trapezium and area of trapezium we calculated 
already but we will solve this one again 1 by 2 into a plus b which is uh, uh, 3 plus 5 3 plus 5 into h which is 2 and this will be cancelled so it is equal to 8 so shaded area will be equal to shaded area is equal to 9 minus 8 9 minus 8 which is equal to 1 which is the final answer of this one hopefully you understood each and every question if you want to get more videos and if you understood each and everything don't for forget to subscribe maths tv also introduce this channel to your respected teachers and share this link with your class fellows and friends thank you very much for watching take care bye